Lord be with you as we hear our devotion from the Treasury of Daily Prayer here on this 15th of July. Uh, in today's text and writing, uh, we hear about our relationship to God's law and our justification before him by, by faith in Christ alone, uh, which is, is always a fitting message to reflect on as we live in his grace today. Uh, this reading comes from Galatians chapters 3 and 4. Paul writes, Now before faith came, we were held captive under the law, imprisoned until the coming faith would be revealed. So then the law was our guardian until Christ came, in order that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian, for in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. I mean that the heir, as long as he is a child, is no different from a slave, though he is the owner of everything, but he is under guardians and managers until the date set by his father. In the same way, we also, when we were children, were enslaved to the elementary principles of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then an heir through God. Formerly, when you did not know God, you were enslaved to those that by nature are not gods. But now that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, you can, how can you turn back again to the weak and worthless elementary principles of the world, whose slaves you want to be once more? You observe days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid that I may have labored over you in vain. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And that, that thought of Paul's will continue uh, in tomorrow's reading, uh, where we'll see that um, while he, he reprimands the people of Galatia uh, here for falling back into the elementary principles of the world, um, he'll continue to encourage them in their faith and, and leave them with, with good words of, of gospel uh, later in the book. Uh, here, though, is our writing for the day from Martin Luther. But in what manner or way has Christ redeemed us? The manner was as follows. He was born under the law. When Christ came, he found us all captive under guardians and trustees, that is, confined and constrained under the law. What did he do? He himself is Lord of the law. Therefore, the law has no juris jurisdiction over him and cannot accuse him because he is the Son of God. He who was not under the law subjected himself voluntarily to the law. The law did everything to him that it did to us. It accused us and terrified us. It subjected us to sin, death, and the wrath of God and it condemned us with its judgment. And it had a right to do all this, for we have all sinned. But Christ committed no sin, and no guile was found on his lips. Therefore he owed nothing to the law, and yet against him, so holy, righteous, and blessed, the law raged as much as it does against us, accursed and condemned sinners, and even more fiercely. It accused him of blasphemy and sedition, it found him guilty in the sight of God and of all the sins of the entire world. Finally, it so saddened and frightened him that he sweat blood, and eventually it sentenced him to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, we believers are free of the law through Christ, who triumphed it over it in him. This glorious triumph, accomplished for us through Christ, is grasped not by works, but by faith alone. Therefore, faith alone 
justifies. Here ends our reading. Let's pray our prayer for the day. Lord Jesus Christ, you came in humility and weakness to defeat the powers of sin, death, and the devil. Clothe our weakness with your righteousness by your baptismal grace that we might withstand the power of every adversary. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God bless you here on this 15th of July as you serve the Lord under his grace and by faith in him.